Welcome to another video on using Access 2016. Today we're going to be looking at adding security to your database. Um, first off we're going to be adding a password and then in the next video we'll look at actually splitting the database um, into two. One part being the data in the tables and the other half being the interface that has the forms, reports and queries. First off though we're going to be looking at um, adding passwords to databases. Unlike before where we would usually just click on um, our file to, to open the database, to actually add security to a database you actually have to open it in a different way. You ha have to open it in uh, so you have exclusive rights to that database. And the way we do this is we open access rather than opening the file um, that contains the database and we have to click the open button and then browse. Don't click one of your previous copies of your database or um, anything like that because when we go to browse we actually get the open um, dialog box and this has some differences um, on the open tab. If we click on the um, combo box arrow be beside open we can see that we have the ability to open the database um, exclusively which means we're the only person who has, has any rights to um, that database at that time. So what we'll do is we'll navigate to um, where I've saved the database um, again we're with Clive's cars and when I've selected the database again we're not double clicking on the file but we're just single clicking so it's highlighted and then we're going to open exclusive just going to enable the content I won't save to SharePoint at this moment so what we have here is we have it's exactly the same look as what we would see if we just open the database normally um, what we have though is we have the ability to um, as I say have exclusive rights to this meaning that if you've got uh, multiple people accessing this database usually we would be the only person who can access it at this time next thing we do is we go to the options tab and if you've never looked into the options for your database there's some really good things in here and um, what I like to do is when I'm um, finishing off with the database I like to go to the current database tab and uh, where it says display form none I like to open it in our navigation form so this lets it, rather than opening the database as we see now with nothing actually in the main window we can actually force it to have the navigation form open so it's more ready for the user to use straight away and that's all we're going to do there for the time being and must close and reopen the database for that to take effect the next thing we're going to do is go to the info tab so I just went into file and then info and on this screen you can see that we have a number of um, extra options that we wouldn't usually see if you're ever having problems with your database you can uh, compact and repair and this will try and um, sort any issues um, that your database have but what we do have here along with that is encrypt with password so clicking on the encrypt with password just like any uh, setting a password anywhere it's going to ask you for the password and then it's going to ask you to verify that password just to make sure that um, you remember exactly what it is because you've put it in twice so I'm going to create a very very simple password which is let me in and I'm going to copy that down into there and then set OK it talks about um, encrypting in block cipher is incompatible blah, 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 blah. just click OK so now that password set for the database so I'm going to close down I'm just going to close the database and then reopen it so now I can go to click straight on my um, database and you see first thing it does it asks for the database before anything is opened and as you can see it's now opened up straight into my navigation form 
um, with my first form available to put a new client in. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, give it a go and always remember t um, to put a password on that's memorable or um, use some other form of actually remembering what that password is. Um, once it's encrypted with that password, um, it, yeah, you can't get in without that password. Um, there are some methods online that try and um, decrypt the, the password. Um, never had any success with them. So always a key point, remember your password. Okay, thanks. Looking again for our next video where I'll be splitting the database into um, two halves, which will be the, the front end, so what we see now, and the tables will be um, in another file. They'll be linked tables rather than local tables as they are here. Hopefully it all makes sense to you. Bye-bye.